good morning, everybody. It's um, just turned five o'clock and uh, I'm up and almost out. Uh, got up a little after 4 a.m. Um, it started to snow, uh, so I'm gonna try to make it down our hill before that gets too dicey. Um, a little bit of a drive ahead of me and then uh, a bridge and another drive and a ferry. <laughs> so uh, I'll check in along the way. I I prepared, I, I just loaded the car up with uh, my hiking boots and extra jackets, snacks, um, printed maps in case I lose cell service. Um, so about to step over the threshold uh, like we read about and um, wanting to set intention uh, to do that purposefully and be forward thinking and forward moving from here on out. So I'll tell you really quick, I'm going over the bridge right now, and this is a floating bridge up here on the Hood Canal, and uh, it occurs to me, I didn't check if it would be open or not. Um, it opens sometimes for the um, naval submarines that pass through here, so whew, I made it through. So I've made it to the ferry, and uh, I want to show you if you're not familiar with um, Northwest Ferries. People are driving on. You can see the sun is rising. They made pretty good time on the way and uh, yeah it was uh, not so bad, just dark the whole way. Well I'll tell you it's it's March 2nd and uh, I saw so many <clears throat> Christmas lights. Um, but to be honest with you maybe they're not Christmas lights anymore. Um, you know this part of the year up here in the Pacific Northwest. I just call the long dark. Um, <laughs> so maybe just people are um, lighting up against that. <laughs> but I will uh, connect with you in a little while. I'll get myself situated on the ferry. So, I'm on a little break, we're about to have lunch, and it's been a really moving morning. Lots of lessons on uh, mythology, um, eco-theology, uh, embodification, story, presence, um, sharing in a circle. Um, we just did a really neat art project in response to a story that Mary told called The Handless Maiden. Super powerful. Um, really something I'll be processing for a while. Um, it's gorgeous out here right now. The sun has come out. It's still freezing, but uh, I'll show you out behind me. It's just blue sky and a really lovely treat after leaving in the dark of morning with snow coming down. I'm going to go uh, rest my mind and nourish my body since we're only halfway through the day.
Hey there, so uh, we have been released for an hour of wild wandering, and I'm out here at a place, I'll add the picture to the video, where there's a listening circle, and um, I wanted to revisit it because it's where we ended uh, the day last year, and I got really emotional coming out here. Um, one, one of the big trees fell over. <laughs> Um, that hadn't, you know, hadn't fallen over last year when I was here, and which is kind of devastating. I'll, I'll put a picture up in the video. Um, just the root ball is sort of standing up there. Um, I have a lot to process from today, and that'll take time, but I want to share my immediate reaction being, um, just such a what a different experience I'm having today than I had a year ago. Um, I feel so open and um, a sense of belonging, uh, familiarity, and just so much comfort and safety in the woods. Where last year I was really um, <laughs> scared and. Um, uncomfortable and overloaded. This has just been a whole different experience today and coming at it with the intentionality of pilgrimage and mindfulness and the lingering that we talked about. Um, it's just been really significant. I'll uh, let you in on some of my homeward journey, uh, but I think I'll just put away the camera for now and soak in the sensory experience. You know, the other thing I really want to say is different um, this time is my um, sense of play, feeling like um, I, I want to go do that. I want to go be out in the woods by myself. That is, that is drastically different. Um, and that feels good. That feels fun. And I have not carried my map around <laughs> with me all day like I did last year. Um, and there's just so much more presence, I think, because of that. Well, I just made the ferry. <laughs> And uh, if you live in the Pacific Northwest, you know what a good feeling that is. Always a good feeling to just make the ferry. And they've got us like sardined in here. So I, I didn't even know if I could get out of my car if I wanted to. But I don't think I want to. I'm tired. It's been a long day. Uh, I think I left the house uh, 13 hours ago. And I have another hour and a half to go. I don't know if I have words to put to the pilgrimage experience I had today. Um, we were asked to leave uh, with just a word or a phrase at the very end of the day uh, around a, a campfire outside and my words that I chose to share that represented the day for me, I'll share with you, um, was just open and available. And so I think that's a nice summary of my experience. And the boon I would bring back to you, my class, is um, a poem uh, by Nikita Gill. And it's the poem that we started the day with, and I feel like it is just um, perfect. It was perfect for me in um, representing the change that I have found in myself between when I came here a year ago and what my experience was like today. So here's what I leave you with. You have become a forest. One day when you wake up, you'll find that you have become a forest. You have grown roots and found strength in them that no one thought you had. You have become stronger and more beautiful, full of life-giving qualities. You have learned to take all the negativity around you and turn it into oxygen for easy breathing. A host of wild creatures live inside you 
and you call them stories. A variety of beautiful birds rest inside your mind and you call them memories. You have become an incredible self-sustaining thing of epic proportions and you should be so proud of yourself, of how far you've come from the seeds of who you used to be. May that be a benediction.